in this video, we're going to help this noob reach second C using the love fruit. How about you? Yes, the one watching. Do you have a request or any suggestions? Make sure to comment it on the comment section and I will be responding to the comments for the first 30 minutes after posting this video. So guys, are you ready? Let's go! With the Eckert slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dunk! Hello! Gamer Nom is back! So for today's video, we're going to help this noob reach second C using the love fruit in Valentine's. So guys, shout out to everyone who's watching this. Happy Valentine's! Ayayin nyo na mag milk si Crush. Okay guys, so let's eat this fruit. So are you ready? But before that, I created a Twitter account. So make sure to follow for future announcements and giveaways. And also, don't forget to use the star code GAMERNOM when purchasing your Robux. Okay, so we are gonna start it off with the bandits. We already have a skill. Yes, we already have a skill, but let's lure them first. And let's check if this skill is a single or multi-target skill. And it's a multi-target, which means leveling up will be faster. One Piece reference, the one using the love fruit is one of the warlords of the sea, Empress of the Kuja Pirates, Boa Hancock. Okay, so when you reach level 10, we are now ready to move on to our next island, and that island is the jungle. To start it off, we're gonna start with the monkeys. So again, you need to defeat 6. Lure every monkey you see in the water, and there will be no damage. See that guys? So. No more techniques here, just lure them in the water, use your mellowing heart, and everything will be fine. The goal here is to reach level 15, and after that, you can now start with the gorillas. The gorillas are located here. There you go, lure them, go in high ground, and use your mellowing heart. Again, everything will be easy here. The goal and this mob is to reach level 20. After that, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island. The Gorilla King. Okay, there you go. Again, high ground is our friend. <laughs> After you defeat this, put all your stats on the Black Fruit. Again, guys, we we're putting all our stats in the Black Fruits, and after that, you can now go to the Marine Fortress. Yes, guys, this is my new strategy. You just need to learn the Petty Officers, so <laughs> the damage is so high. Go here and keep on attacking them. Just be patient, because with just two kills, of the petty officers, you will unlock your second skill, which will make things really faster. Check it out. Our goal here is to increase our mastery really fast. For the second kill, there you go. Wait, I'm gonna show you the second skill. That one, there you go, okay. So the goal here is to reach level 60. Yes, 60 guys. Just enough to unlock our third skill, the irresistible attraction. This is the scale, there you go. Next up, at 60, we are going to the desert. We're gonna start here with the desert bandits. We need to defeat 8, but as you can see, our HP is kinda low. And with this update, I have a trick for that. So let's defeat this first. And after that, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, let's go. Actually, they're so easy to defeat. Okay, guys. So you're gonna go here and start defeating this mob, the mob leader, and grind four candies. Yes, so how many candies gamer now? I suggest more than 1,000, yes. Because for every kill, you will get 12 to 15. And again, fast forwarding. Now, as you can see, we have 1,100 candies. There you go. Now off to the middle town, and we're gonna buy the Santa hat. So this increases your HP, your defense, I mean your yeah, HP and your uh, health, and it will also increase your blast fruit damage. So now back to the bandits, desert bandits to be exact, there we go, and at level 75 you can start defeating this one, the desert officers, yes. And the goal here is to reach level 105, go. Guys, if we're just talking about grinding the first C, this one is the easiest one. Okay, so at 105, we're gonna go to the Frozen Village. Don't forget to buy the Sky Jump. As you can see, I already have the Sky Jump. Sky Jump, Buso, and Soru. After that, head towards the mini-boss of this island, the Yeti. We're gonna do server hop here. He's easy to defeat. You can even tank his damage because of the Santa Hat, but don't do it, guys. 
someone might attack you. The goal here is to reach level 130. And upon reaching the, that level, we will now head back, yeah, back towards the Marine Fortress and start grinding the Vice Admiral. So again, here we're gonna do server hop. As you can see, we are focusing on single target enemies because the love fruit is so good with that. And another reason for it is we have low energy. Again, we are focusing almost all of our stats in the blocks fruit. For those asking the stats, all in the blocks fruit, okay? So the goal here is to reach level 225. I think we're gonna reach 226 here. Oh, we've unlocked the scented kicks, the final skill of this fruit. All the skills of this fruit has a stun, so this is what is really good. Next up, a 225 Coliseum. We're gonna start with the Toga Warriors. Lure 3, again, we have low energy, so I am thinking here that we should put some of the, on the melee and defense because the damage is also getting higher now. There you go, defeat 3, defeat 2 on the other side, and defeat 2 more to finish the quest. The goal here is to reach level 275. Next up, the Gladiators. You guys, you just need to lure 4. You can use your skills, but for me, I just lured it using my combo. Combat, sorry. Combat. Guys, uh, we can, you can go to the prison to grind some of the mini boss, but it's kind of far away, and this fruit has no travel, so I don't suggest that, guys. Just focus here with the Gladiators until you reach level 330. Yes, we're gonna skip one mob or one mob quest in the next island, the Magma Village, because they're so far away, guys. You need to defeat 9. They're so far away. So we're gonna start here with the Military Spies. As the damage of this spies or mobs is kinda high, but guys, you can burst them. 2 or 3 skills is enough. So leveling up here will be fast. So the goal here is to reach level 350. And after you reach that level, you can start defeating the mini boss in this island, the Magma Admiral, until you reach level 425. Yes, 425. So I'm gonna show you to you how to defeat it. Okay, you just dodge that skill. Okay, and then try to uh, cycle your skills because if you don't hit it for quite some time, or if you create too much distance, its HP will regenerate. Use your skills, cycle it, don't use all at once after you use his skill, use one of your skills. The good thing with this fruit is the cooldown is kinda short. There you go. Again, the goal here is to reach level 425. Go. Okay. After that, you can now move on to our next island. But ch stat check, 75 mil defense, 1,125 blocks fruit. For our next island, the Underwater Cave, don't forget to save. Okay, so we're gonna start here with the Fishman Lord. So this mob has two uh, lines of HP. So once you hit critical HP here, it will transform just like in the game. I Sorry, in the game. In the One Piece, the anime. There you go. So we're gonna defeat this until you reach level 500. You just need to dodge the trident and everything will be fine. Next up, guys, is Skylands. Stat check 104 melee, 113 defense, 1292 blast wood. Again, Skylands. We're gonna start here with the Whisper. As you can see, we are really focusing on single target mini bosses. Again, the HP is high, don't worry, just do server hop, okay? So again, our best friends, high ground in server hop. There you go. It's easy to defeat. Just dodge the cannon. So every after skill, dodge that. Oh, we got the bazooka. This one is cool. So guys, because we got the bazooka, you can use all your skills and just use your bazooka so that his HP won't regenerate. So at 576, we're gonna start. Or 575 with the Thunder God. But don't forget to buy the Observation Hockey for 750,000. Okay, there you go. So again, dodge that, use your cannon. Oops, I think we missed that one. It's one of my favorite uh, items here, or weapon, is a cannon. Why? Because it explodes, right? So you don't need to aim that properly. <laughs> so the goal here is to reach level 675. And in the Founding City, we're gonna start with the Cyborg. Again, only mini bosses. There 
go use your skills. Don't use all of your skills after that. Dodge. Wait for him to attack. There you go. Now, you can use your can or one of your skills. Again, use your skills and then dodge. Use your skills and then wait for it to attack and dodge. So the goal here is to reach level 700. And after that, you will be unlocking a quest. And this quest will ask you to go to the prison. I love the dinghy, guys. Here you go, prison. Talk to the military detective. He will give you a key. And this key can be used to open a door in the frozen village. Here. There you go. And now, defeat the Ice Admiral. Yes, not the Awakened one. That's in the second scene. Sorry. Okay, so let's say you've defeated it. Never mind. <laughs> go back to the military detective. He will then ask you to go to the middle town. And in the middle town, you just need to find the experienced captain. And there you go. And he will now send you to the second sea. So guys, that's it for this video. And before we end it, make sure that you've comment your requests, your suggestions. And again, for the first 30 minutes after this video was posted, I will make sure that I will reply on your comment, okay? So again, guys, that's it for this video. Again. To so all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.